potentially for melee. Um, a very great Ice Climber's Mate from SoCal. And from what I remember, one of his first events was like Red Bull Gods and Gatekeepers, and he did really well at that event. And uh, yeah, he's just been kind of going up since then. So very solid player overall, and it's glad to see that you know melee players are getting, we're seeing that crossover from melee players to ultimate. Oh, I love it. Melee is a hard game. Yeah, very and, he, and he's made it to winners' quarters of this bracket, so it's not he's, it's not like he's a slouch either. He's oh, no. obviously doing pretty well. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say another villager. Huh? I do wonder who he played. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, I find this is very different than this game from <laughs> from melee, oh, yeah. but very interesting to go for Luigi. Not necessarily like a better character or anything like that. So we'll have to see how our army goes down with this. If Elegant's shown us anything, this character can still do work. Either that or Elegant can still do work. Either way. Interchangeable. I think it's more. I think it's still more so elegant, to be honest. But here we go. Already, Gluttony starting to show that aerial pressure. Oh, good command grab, and it heals him now in this iteration too. Just, just disgusting. Yeah, it's a very easy conditioning tool for Mario. You can pressure them. Oh, big combo potentially doesn't get the landing up air to try and set up into something else though. Yeah, Wario's bike is able to capture a lot of rolls. It's a very good move. Uh, it has several different hitboxes on it. Oh, <laughs> but we're not talking about the bike. We're talking about getting the punch. Yeah, That's, I think the big win condition for Luigi, can you get those upbeats? Can you get those short Yukins? And he was able to get the first one there off of a very nice jab block. Uh, but unfortunately, Luigi, the recovery, the bane of his existence, that forward tilt, very great tool, lasts for a very long time, hits below the ledge. That's going to be able to close it out, bring things back to even. But we do have a nice little combo breaker in Luigi's down B to be able to stop. Oh, okay, blowing up that bike. But uh, down B being the, the frame one uh, punish that it is, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little tough for Plutoni to be able to get really comfortable combo. But I haven't really been seeing the down B that much, and I, I totally understand the sparing usage of it. Oh, no tech chase situation there on the platform, but uh, I'm sure Army will take the position. Okay, another tech chase situation using that bear to elicit another tech chase reaction. Just using those dash attacks to keep them off stage, and that four tilt actually beating up the down B. I'm actually oh. quite amazed at that. And he's going to continue on with the edge guard too, because he knew he had the opportunity after the green missile to be able to bring things back around and keep himself in the lead here. Oh, okay, catching a catching Luigi with a forward tilt. Look at that. It's really, you know, it's gonna say it's fairly hard to use the uh, the down beat when you're on the platform getting hit from underneath. No less trap there. The forward tilt not quite gonna connect behind that roll. Okay, trying to use the bike to extend his hitbox a little bit. I like the idea. Oh, good, yeah, good tech roll. Down there to down beat. Not quite gonna be able to do it yet. Even on the low ceiling. <laughs> he tried to pick up the bike. He didn't get it. He's like, ah, oh, whatever. I'm I'm done with that plan. Oh, nice. Nice, Sarah. One of the landing options that he has available to him. That, not going to be able to do it yet either. Yeah, Luigi landing options not the greatest in the game, so using that Sarah to cover distance at least is somewhat useful for him. It's a smart way of using it, uh, as opposed to just using down B and down air all the time. Uh, uh, pimp slap. Uh, I'm going to start calling that the Glutoni special now. I mean, that's just difficult for to do anything. As soon as you're forced to use side B, it's one of those things where you're thinking to yourself when you're recovering, I have absolutely zero options right now, and my opponent has 10 million. And yeah. there's really nothing I can do about this except not go off stage in the first place, which in the, <laughs> in the flow of a regular Smash game, that's not going to happen. Like, Ever. You, can, you can't play perfect like that all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that is unfortunate for Luigi, you know, not really having that many recovery options. It's just like when you are stagnated to one option, uh, you're gonna get in trouble a lot of the time because they already know where you're at. <laughs> Moving on to FD, great flat stage, no platforms to mess up in the way, and it's just more opportunities for Luigi to get a zero to death combo potentially. But that's not happening right now. It makes uh, edge guarding a lot easier and mud trapping a lot easier because Warrior doesn't really have any platforms to just kind of direct an air dodge onto upon getting on the mud. So this is kind of a nice idea for Luigi. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Go to the Tony special here. I think, just in general, even when Army is trying to start a zero death combo, the bike is just able to put him in a position where he's not going to get comboed even if he gets hit by something, which is very smart for Gluttony and shows his matchup awareness in this particular instance. Um, okay, bike should be able to bring him back. Oh, but Luigi's not going to let him go back. Uh -uh. Yeah, good yeah. down there. Gluttony barely reacting at all, actually. I think he just kind of knows. It's like, okay, I kind of took the risk on that. So let's just go ahead and try and get a different edge guard this time around. Uh, that back here so strong, so fast. Gotta be careful of it. Got some good range on it, too. 
Yep. Ooh, double grab. Okay, let's see what he gets here. Actually, big oh. opportunity, but doesn't get the landing up there to finish it off with the Shoryuken. That was starting to look really promising, too. Oh, good. Back air, however. Yeah, the army still has this. Yep. Still has that establishment in the neutral air. Yeah, now he's kind of getting greedy right there. Ooh, and he started using the Nair to counteract the bike. Okay, that was pretty smart. Okay. Wow. Tech rolling his way out of that situation. Yeah, he knows Wario's uh, going to try to do something to that bike. Wow, the roll. Okay, I don't even know if Army's been going for that up very much, but uh, yeah, Army's been rolling through every time actually. He's been really? getting right. He's been getting right behind the board tilt, which is actually really good for him. Lenny is just not quite spacing it correctly, but that bike should be able to do it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the bike can kill you nowadays. I mean, I believe in Mario and Sonic: The Olympic Games. Mario is very good at shot put, so that's exactly what it looked like right there, being able to take out Luigi in the process. Ooh, Combo City. Ooh. Could have been something big, doesn't commit to the laugh before he knows he has something oh! big, like the bike set up into it, and that's gonna be it. Gluttony taking the set 2-0. Oh. And Army put up a really good fight there too. He showed a lot of adaptation in that matchup, but uh, not quite being able to fight against Wario with a walk.